All right. Pat with Pat's Two Cents with God's Church of Love every Saturday and Tuesday. And we have a word of comfort for God's people, but there are calamities coming. And we're in a major season of deaths. And God wants to comfort his people and let you know he's got you. It's not going to be that sweet for those that don't have him. Okay, we're reading Isaiah 44, starting at verse 1. Yet now, hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. Thus saith the Lord that made thee and formed thee from the womb, which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou, Jezreel, whom I have chosen. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty and floods upon the dry ground. <clears throat> I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thy offspring. And they shall spring up as among the grass, as willows by the watercourses. One shall say, I am the Lord's, and another shall call himself by the name of Jacob. And another shall subscribe with his hand unto the Lord and surname himself by the name of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. I am the first, I am the last, and beside me there is no God. And who, as I shall call and shall declare it, and set it in order for me, since I appointed the ancient people, the things that are coming and shall come let them show them unto them. Fear ye not, neither be afraid. Have I not told thee from that time and have declared it? Ye are even my witnesses. Is there a God beside me? Yea, there is no God. I know not any. They that make a graven image are all of them vanity, and their delectable things shall not profit. They are their own witnesses. They see not, nor know that they may be ashamed. Who hath formed a God or a molten graven image that is profitable for nothing? Now, let's go all the way down with stretching for the sake of time. He goes through all that they do and where they get the wood from and how they start to create their molten and graven images. All right. And this is the part I love right here. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm. verse 15 and 16 kind of puts it in its place then shall it be for a man to burn for he will take thereof and warm himself yea he kindleth it and baketh bread yea he maketh a god and worshipeth it he maketh it a graven image and falleth down thereto he burneth part thereof in the fire with part thereof he eateth flesh, he roasteth roasts, and is satisfied. Yea, he warmeth himself, and saith, Aha, I am warm, I have seen the fire. <clears throat> Verse 17, And the residue thereof he maketh a God, even his graven image. He falleth down unto it, and worshipeth it praying unto it and saying, Deliver me, for thou art my God. They have not known nor understood, for he has shut their eyes that they cannot see, and their hearts that they cannot understand. And none considereth in his heart, neither is there knowledge nor understanding to say, I have burned part of it in the fire. Yea, also... <clears throat> I have baked bread upon the coals thereof. I have roasted flesh and eateth it. And shall I make the residue thereof an abomination? Shall I fall down to the stock of a tree? He feedeth on ashes. A deceived heart hath turned him aside, that he cannot deliver his soul, nor say, Is there not a lie in my right hand? Remember these, O Jacob and Israel, for thou art my servant. I have formed thee. Thou art my servant, O Israel. Thou shalt not be forgotten of me. 
I have blotted out as a thick cloud thy transgressions, and as a cloud thy sins. Return unto me, for I have redeemed thee. Sing, O ye heavens, for the Lord hath done it. Shout, ye lower parts of the earth. Break forth in the singing, ye mountains, O forest, and every tree therein, for the Lord hath redeemed Jacob and glorified himself in Israel. Thus saith the Lord thy Redeemer, he that formed thee from the womb. I am the Lord that maketh all things, that stretches forth the heavens alone, that spreads abroad the earth by itself, that frustrateth the tokens of liars and makes the viners mad, that turneth wise men backward and maketh their knowledge foolish, that confirmeth the word of his servant and performeth the counsel of his messengers, that saith to Jerusalem, Thou shalt be inhabited, and to the cities of Judah, Ye shall be built, and I will raise up the decayed places. Ah, that saith to the deep, be dry, and I will dry up thy rivers. That saith of Cyrus, he is my shepherd, and shall perform all my pleasure. Even say unto Jerusalem, thou shalt be built, and to the temple thy foundation shall be laid. Amen. Amen. So there should be encouraging. God's word pretty much speaks for itself there. But a lot of times, see, we look at idols that are made with hands and we look at little statues. That's what we see in our mind. What we don't realize, there are many idols, many idols. There are women out there that love God, that walk with God, that have accepted Jesus in your heart. Let's go down the list of a few idols just to kind of get your mind to grasp it. One of the idols is a cell phone. That's male and female, old and young alike. Cell phones, computers, devices. We are hypnotized. I mean, just zoned out, baby. Now, some of you women worship the hair, baby. You order online, you worship the hair. And you can't get your eyes off the hair. You're running your fingers through it. You're playing with it. You're looking at it. You're washing it. You're curling it. You're, pre you're flat iron. You're doing everything with the hair. You don't like your own hair, but you like the hair that you buy. That's sad. All right. That's an idol, believe it or not. And yes, it is made with man's hands. All right, the next thing, some of you, your bodies are your idol. And I'm not talking about the body that God made. I'm talking about the stuff made with man's hands, the stuff they stuff into areas to build it up, plump it up, juice it up, form it up, whatever you affirm it up, whatever you're trying to do, the stuff you get done to your faces, everybody, you don't realize how our appearance becomes our idol. Some of you, your idol is the TV. Movie after movie after movie after movie, show after show after show after show after show. And you're sitting there in front of the idiot box looking like an idiot. Huh? What? 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 Shh, shh. Shh, shh. My program's on. You don't have time for your child. You don't have time for your wife. You don't have time to take care of business because you're, you're zoomed, zoomed in to the two. Yeah, so we realize there are many, many, many images, graven images, idols. And see, a lot of the things that are happening in these last days are because of all the idol worship. Some of our idol worship is based on a man-made lifestyle that God did not create. And I won't go any further. I think your mind can take you right to the spot that I'm talking about. Some of you, your idols is what's in your pocket. That dollar bill. You will hold on to a dollar bill and watch your friends lose their home before you reach in your pocket because you work hard for the money. 
You don't have time to rescue other folks. That's an idol. That's right. Some of you, <laughs> you got designer this, designer that. You got this car, you got that car, you got the other car, you got two, three, four, five, six cars. And you don't, you can't drive but one at a time. But you make sure everybody knows what kind it is, how new it is. Yeah. You're impressed by yourself and you want everybody else to be. So there's a man-made image you have created. It's called a persona. You put on a show. You play a role. You have your mask, you have your costume, and you've got all your little props. Some of you, your props becomes your house, your car, your, your job, whatever it is, you have props. And those are man-made, man-orchestrated, man-directed, right, and man by man. Run by man. And that is your idol. So you will be surprised how much idol worship we do in this world. And we don't have a statue sitting on a counter. Half the stuff in our lives has become our idol. It's really sad. But we are idolaters. Many of us are. When something means more to you, so much more that you will watch a person go down the drain and you know you have it within your means to rescue them and you shut up your bowels of compassion. That's another idol, y'all. All right, let's move on because I'm not here to beat you up. I'm just trying to kind of lay the platform so you can see what's happening. All right. 